Okay, you too. Hello. Looney here. Been a minute. Since we, uh, since we did a proper, or any, really, uh, horrors for you. <laughs> I always forget the name of the series. Horrors for you. Because, uh, it's been what? Three weeks? A month? Yeah, it's been almost a month. Wow. Time is flying. It's been almost a month since we did a uh, horrors for you. But if you don't know what Horrors View is, Horrors View is where I go on various gaming websites and I go to the horror tab and then I pick three random games off the horror tab front page and this is that. So first up we got Devil's Donner. Based on a true story, I highly doubt that. Side note, I am not working anywhere with devil in the name. Is he having a stroke? He had a hiccup while he was doing his lines. He said, <laughs> All right. Who's breathing in my ear? This is crazy already. Oh, brother. Has it been a long night or what? I don't know why this dialogue makes me uncomfortable. I mean, what they're saying just... I could devour a kebab right now. This place looks pretty good. No, <laughs> it, it actually doesn't. <laughs> I don't feel safe. He did not look left or right. Oh, I'm a customer for once. Devil's Diner Kebab. Well, that's a stupid name. I, I think you should be insult insulting him, but it'll do. I see back there tap dancing. What I got going on? I'm starving. I'm so out of practice. His voice didn't change like eight times. What will you order? Diner kebab, garlic cheese chips. Oh, let me get some garlic cheese chips. I thought that was a car. It sounds more like growling. I forgot to press E. I'm sorry? So you have chosen death, I see. Pardon? Oh! End in three, you ordered garlic cheese chips and got murdered by the kitchen staff. Why is it on the menu? Huh? Her donkey. That's so how you've chosen death. <laughs> if I ever walk into a place, that's about you've chosen death. Can I get a donner? Let me get a donner, boss. On the house. I'm coming right up, sir. Just give me a moment. Order will be ready in five minutes. Five minutes is crazy work. Sound, man. Thank you, boss. There's a guy over here last time I was here. You just fart? He's in the back now. Oh, oh fuck. Right. Hello, I'm a boy. Uh, that's when you hit him with that. Throat chop, you got right up under the chin. I couldn't help but notice you drunkenly walk in here and order a diner kebab. Why are you watching me, sir? You look <sighs> utterly magnificent. <laughs> may I harvest your organs? You worse than may I sit beside you? Uh, why not? Yeah, sure, why not? It is always a good feeling to do something nice for others, I suppose. No, it's not. Excellent choice, my precious little primrose. Now just hold still for me, second, so I can. Oh! And in four, you let the strange man harvest your organs for his own personal pleasure. I thought the staff would help. Uh, look away from me. Flip off, you nasty little twat. <laughs> twat is crazy. You ever heard somebody get called a twat in the wild? That's never happened. Oh no, he's a serpent for real. Boy says. 
That's what not do. That would not do very well, Cretan. Your liver would have made a fine ornament in my lavatory. Why are you putting my liver in your bathroom? Did you mean laboratory? Uh, okay, bro. You can leave me alone now. Ugh. Theodore, you know you are not allowed in front of the customers. Boss, how much longer till that kebab is good to go? This Theodore. It's real freaks out tonight. Making my lose my appetite real fast. I'm talking to you, Theodore. Just a few more minutes, sir. You cannot rush perfection. I did, or folks told me I was a little pretty princess or something like that. <laughs> he was talking about like I was a little girl or something. Why is he over there boxing the kebab? <laughs> hey, I know y'all can keep that down payment. I I don't want it. Theodore, you better stop playing. <laughs> Bitch, what? It's this town. Jesus, that ain't Jesus. I know Jesus. That is not him. <laughs> Why is everybody talking to me? Oh, good afternoon, sir. He's a bounty hunter. Um, sir, it is 2 a.m. Oh, I am the answer to the troubles that currently plague you, my friend. Hunger? I've been watching you very closely tonight, and you seem to have become quite unsettled. You're not helping. Since entering this fine dining establishment, that is. You may have noticed that around here things are not what they seem. Would you like to see what lies beneath this greasy, blessed shrine? He says people want him to take off his trench coat. Nah, you can keep that on, brother. You can keep that on, brother. I don't want to see what's under there. Ah, that's another decision. I could die here. Watch it be tentacles. Yeah, sure. That sounds pretty cool. Marvelous choice, sir. Now just close your eyes and when you reopen them, all should be revealed. Scream. What is this? Oh! Where are you taking me, fiend? I'm about to say, Frank, take the R off that thing. I demand answers. I have taken you nowhere, my friend. I have only revealed the true beauty within to your now blessed soul. More like cursed. You know theater over there going crazy on somebody. You said a lot of words that, you said a lot of gibberish for a few words, is what I meant to say. You're still in the kebab store. In fact, I believe you ordered it almost ready. Oh, well, I am starting to get pretty hungry by now. I wasn't hungry before. Look at this. Oh, those are other. I'm about to be a damn kebab. Hey, uh. I just realized the walls are made of flesh, too. Yeah, everything okay back there? Sound like someone is in a <clears throat> bit of pain. Everything is fine. It sure sounds kind of sore. Maybe you should check it out. Everything is okay, human. Your order is not ready for collection. That's a weird way to be talking, Theodore. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. I suppose I should go pick it up, so. They're definitely dead. Why are they screaming? Enjoy your meal. Took two He's missing a throat, Theodore. Did you sacrifice your throat for my kebab? There's a real friend right there. 
Hello, boss. The big guy just told me my kebab is ready for collection. Yeah, sure. That is correct, sir. I have it right here for you, sir. You talk weird. Have a good night, sir. Hope to see you back again soon. Thank you, boss. Same goes for you. I can't wait to get back home and tuck into this bad boy. You gonna crawl inside your kebab and go to sleep like a sleeping bag? That's crazy work, friend. I think he left the S off it. Get back home and stuck. Nope. Get stuck into it. All right, it all sounds crazy. My mistake. What happened to Buddy in the... Buddy in all black? And I got hit by a bus. You saw the kebab shop for what it really was. Got a great donor, though. Oh. In Canada. I don't want it. You know, boss? Now that I'm thinking about it, I really don't feel like eating a kebab right now. Keep it. I'm gonna go pick up a pizza instead. Oh! Heresy. Is that a giant ear? With a butter knife for an arm? How dare you refuse a blessing? Birth from our Lord's glorious establishment. Theodore, do Theodore own this? Wait, wait, hold up a second. Do I know you? Death comes for you, heretic. And I am his harbinger. Oh, we were executed by the harbinger of the devil's diner on account of heresy. Next. All right, moving on. We got blood cleaner. Uh, somewhere in India. Thank you for tuning in. We have breaking news regarding the government's one child policy initiative. I thought that was in China. In India too? Or is it all of Asia? For those unfamiliar with this policy, it offered a substantial financial incentive for families. <laughs> Why to say fam families? <laughs> Why to say families like that? <laughs> Familias? You know what it is? I want to say familia. That's what it was. Familia. I was speaking Spanish in India. Oh, Spanish in India. That's a bar. Uh, uh, families opting to have only one child. However, it is a family where to have a second child, the parent would be required to repay double the initial amount in the form of taxes. Yep, a lot of circumcisions out here. This policy was introduced nearly a year ago, but today's headline is that the policy has faced significant public backlash and is now officially being repealed. You know what it was? Everybody signed up, got that check, and they just couldn't stop. They, they had a lot of free time on their hands. They got all this extra money, so they just <laughs> popping out babies, and they can't afford them double payments because you have three, right? You get one, you get paid. You get two, you got to pay what you got paid back double. You have three. <laughs> math ain't math. They was like, hey, this is a problem. We got we to gotta start writing or something. We'll take a short break now. You just got here. Stay with us for more updates. Dead body found in town. What they got to do with a baby policy? All right. Left mouse button to receive call. What if I hit the right mouse button? I hit the right mouse button. They gonna all right. They just picked up the phone anyway. Hello, I'm on speaking. Oh wait, I'm on. Hello, I'm on speaking. Hello, I'm on. This is Jacob. I found your advertisement card for a home cleaning service. Yes, that's correct. We provide thorough cleaning services and can make your home look as good as new. Great, great, great. I'm actually out of town for a few days, so not a problem. If you leave the keys with someone, I can handle everything while you're away. Perfect. 
<coughs> Excuse me, I'm doing <coughs> hookah right now. Uh, there's a shop called Foxy Meat House. You know what? We booked up for like ever. So yeah, don't call us no more. Foxy Meat House. I'm not going nowhere called Foxy. I did just go to somewhere called Devil's Diner. Okay. The owner has a spare key for my place. You can pick it up from him. Got it, got it, got it. I'll collect the key from him and uh, get your home looking in pristine condition. Good, good, glad to hear it. Although I do have a small additional request. I wanted to pay extra for it. If it got anything to do with Foxy Meat House, the answer's no. Unless you got at least six zeros. Uh, of course, just let me know what you need. Uh, there's some blood in the house. Could you take care of that as well? You doing, uh, you doing rituals in this house? Who's Where's the blood from? Uh huh. I'm on? Uh, are, are you there? What? Exactly, are you talking about? It's nothing to worry about. My wife's pregnant and dealing with a severe illness, which has caused some complications, including, well, blood vomiting. Nice cover, nice cover. All right, and how much extra are we talking about for cleaning up the blood? We're about the wrong sh there, I'm on, all right? You just told me his, he just told you his wife was vomiting blood. I'm like, hey, is this a disease? Can I catch this? I don't want to be vomiting blood. Where does the new blood come from? I think we can only lose like, what? Three pints of blood before we pass out? Four before we die? Uh. You say tri triple your usual rate. Hmm. All right, consider it done. Anything for some cash. Oh, I'm a horrible person. <laughs> Few days later. <laughs> Did you reach the shop? Why are you talking like that? Yeah, I'm here now. Great. You can go ahead and ask the shop owner for the key. I've already informed him. You sound a little shady right now. This, 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 we all good, right? I, I'll get it. There's no front, oh, I said, there's no front door to this place. Hey, weren't you supposed to grab a key? So I just walked in here, sat down. Oh, they won't let me behind the counter. Okay, I was about to say, it's back there. I know you got bodies. What you doing on that desk? Talk to him. Mm -hmm. All right, sir, you got a key for me? How can I help you, sir? Jacob sent me. Uh, I'm the cleaner for his house. He should have informed you. Ah, yes. You're here for the keys, aren't you? Yeah, I'm here for the keys. This guy's problem. Jacob. He's a good man, a very good man. He's been out of town for the past four days, and people here miss him. Got to do with me cleaning the house. Yeah, well, uh, about those keys. Oh, of course. You, you know, Jacob always stops by. Pizza doesn't like cold drinking, was it? Just water. Ted is like heaven for him. All right, pizza and water. Pretty solid, pr pr pretty solid spread. <clears throat> Sir, the keys, please. 
Yes, yes, here are the keys to the house. Did you know? I really must be going now. All right, just please take care. That ain't sketchy. <laughs> that about. What do you want to do? If you're new to the game, this section is suggested. If you're already familiar with this part, feel free to skip ahead. You're gonna skip ahead. You played one clean and horror sim, you played them all. I was wrong. I lied. Oh, how I lied so hard. Uh, start with the bedroom. Oh, fuck. It kind of snuck up on me. This one leaf right here just kind of kind of slid out of the wall. You see? It's all dark. You don't see it. Don't see it. Then it's right there in your face. That's what she said. Mm, there's shit on the floor. Hold on. Is somebody in here? Why would I look up? They stop breathing. I know y'all heard. There, go again. She in the. I don't know. Wine glasses in the bedroom is crazy work. Might close that door, huh? Shit, sneaking up on me. Oh, it's so much clearer. It's so much clearer that I can hear the sounds. Vomit! What kind of cleaning solution am I using? Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Yep. Yeah. It's P. I was pressing R. Oh, why did you make it all the way over there? You know how far that is? Like, my hands don't even reach across the keyboard like that. Uh, Strange One, you have paid this month's EMI. Either we do you plan to pay? You haven't paid? Oh, we behind on bills. Please be patient. I'm dealing with a personal matter that's taking up all my funds. I'm trying to start streaming. What's going on? Actually, my wife, Steph, is pregnant. She just crossed the five month mark. So all my money is going towards her medical expenses. All right, I'll let it slide just for this month. But please make sure to pay as soon as possible. I'm very grateful, thank you so much. Oh, I'm collecting contacts. Why don't you just make it E? You know how far that is? The book about I can't do this. When only love remains. When only love remains, but it's a. Uh, we're gonna have to play. Cause I'm just trying to bet they got a dog. Let's see how I gotta turn the corner. There's them dog in there. Two dogs in there. Oh, our first, our first bit of blood. This is a big house. Folks got money. Why do I have to clean at night? You got money. No, you up to no good. Knock off Stitch. I ain't gonna be your Leela neither. Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shit. Taki mushrooms. <laughs> He's gonna keep cleaning like nothing happened. Y'all think that was the wife? Damn vomit on the carpet. Shut up. You see a phone? Damn, I gotta go all the way over here again. 
Wait, no, bitch. I'm on a lawyer now. The divorce paper. Oh, I killed. He killed his wife. He killed his wife, and I got rid of the body like a moron. The divorce papers are. June 25th. That's my cousin's birthday. Look at that. <clears throat> the divorce papers are ready. Are you, that's also my uncle's birthday. It's also the day Michael Jackson died. What are the odds? The divorce papers are ready. <laughs> it's like finished reading. All right, the divorce papers are ready. Are you sure you still want to go through with it? Yes, my wife and I agreed on it. But there's some news. She's pregnant. Do you think that might change things between you two? No, we're still going to separate, but we'll wait until after the baby is born to proceed with the case. I'm in a lot of debt, you see, and my wife isn't willing to support me financially. Is that why we get in a divorce or is that why we stand together? Because what does the baby got to do with that? Because either way, the baby is screwed. Baby's going to be born. It's going to get here. It's like mom and dad no longer love each other, but it's not your fault. Oh, okay. When did you guys get separated? Right about the time you got you were conceived. Yeah, right, right, right when I found that I was pregnant. That's when we was like, you know what? This ain't working. Oh, that's not going to ruin my mental state. Thanks, mom. <laughs> but even after the baby, divorce can be complicated. I'd imagine it's going to be more complicated. You got a kid. You got a co-parent. And how would having the baby help with the finances? The government announced a new... That's right! I forgot about that! We get a baby and then we get munions. Government child support program. I forgot about the dog, too. <clears throat> Wait a minute, now there's two dogs. I got one on my right and one on my left. <clears throat> government couples with a newborn will receive a substantial grant to support the baby's development. Wow! That could really help your situation. But it sounds like to you, the baby's just the money, right? Exactly. For me, the baby is the money, and money is what I need. What about what the baby needs? No rapper. This knockoff stitch looking at me. Oh, I hate your face. I hate your ears. I hate the color of your... Nah, that's too far. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Uh, we completely forgot about this damn uh, nurse that was over here. Damn blood splatter. Are you the nurse? Don't tell me you're the nurse. It's gonna suck if you're the nurse. Ah, I can't flush the toilet. Okay. Okay, okay. Move, man. Do I have a flashlight? I don't. Okay. So I'm just, just running around here in the dark. Ah. Ah. What be me? Stitch! Stitch, you gotta help! Alright, you better not move. You gonna move? She went. I thought I thought I thought it'd be like a door over there. What, 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 what. I mean, it sounded like Curse the Cowardly Dog. Do I check it? That's the front door. Curiosity killed. Run, bitch! Run! Oh, you had no business touching that door. Came here to do a job, and I did it. I want to check the door as a bit. <sighs> that kind of hurt my chest. I ain't gonna fake it. 
We have breaking news from street number five. A cleaner named Aman has reported to the police that he discovered a body in the house he was cleaning. How bizarre. Interestingly, the house belongs to Jacob, whose wife's body was found inside. Police have no also. Uh, Police have also stated that there are unidentified body parts at the scene. Current theories suggest that Jacob was in significant debt and struggling with expenses. His lawyer, whom he recently concluded, confirmed that Jacob was in this process of divorcing his wife. Do you think he might have killed her for financial reasons? Like life insurance? Possibly. His wife was pregnant, and based on his conversation with his lawyer, Jacob might have intended to benefit from the one child policy funds to help cover his expenses. However, reports indicated that the baby delivery was unsuccessful just days ago. He went from baby harboring to uh, uh, the fucking organ harvesting. He was the guy in the diner. That was, that was Jacob, you didn't even know it. This could indeed be the motive, but as of now, Jacob is still on the run, and police are act Wait a minute, you went on a run and called a house cleaner, sir? What, why? Why? Why not just let somebody discover it naturally? And police are actively searching. We'll take a short break. Stay tuned for more updates. Oh! He killed his wife and started developing games. That's crazy work of mine. If you like the game, please rate the game on HIL. It will really help us a lot. All right, cool. I give it a seven. All right, our third and final game for this hor for this week's horrors for you is a uh, delivery mystery. This game includes scenes of violence, strong language, jump scares, ooh, scary things, ah. Also, cringe things. Uh, individuals with heart conditions, <gasps> epilepsy, <laughs> or other sensitivities should consult with the healthcare professional before playing this game. Imagine going to your doctor like, hey, you think it's okay if I play this game? I don't know. Let's play it and see what happens. Then you oh! <laughs> stroke out. That's like, oh, it's not okay. Viewer discretion is advised. Where's the I don't understand option? By pressing I understand, you acknowledge that you have read and understood this warning. You agree to play the game at your own risk and that the developer is not responsible for any adverse reactions or consequences that may result from playing the game. I.e. if you die on the spot, you're not getting a check. Alright. What does that say? Burgerity? Burgerity. Burgerity. We selling burgers with integrity. Let's get it. What kind of opening is that? He just died right there on the spot. You press start. <gasps> Heart attack. No doctor in sight. Ew! There's no world here. There's no world building. Gross. At least put me in the alley with an invisible wall. Ew, I gotta press E. Gross. What's that purple shit over there? Shit! It's not Why are you laughing at a thief? Not only is that not funny, but you thought it was a thief and you came out laughing? Now what if he came in blasting? It would have been a problem. <laughs> gotcha, thief. How do, how do I progress? Oh, space, okay. Wait. Hey, you're no thief. It's me, you idiot. Oh, hello, my delivery man. <laughs> cool. Sorry for the, um, you know, inconvenience. So, ready to meet some lonely girls, hoping they will be able to pay alternatively? Your dirty jerk's a cringe, Bob. Yeah, he watched too many corn videos. Uh, flip you. But anyway, let's get to work, shall we? Actually, I want to go check out this purple light first. That's a patron. Oh! Shit. Oh! 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 
Oh. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Look how far your neck goes. That's quite disturbing. Snap. Mm. That was a burger. I thought it was a skull for two. You got a bucket of chicken, a two liter soda, small fry, props to you, and a. All right. Let me holler at you. Oh, hello. Do you like my costume? That ain't no costume, and you know it. I went to a costume event, and no one wanted to take a picture with me. Now I hate myself. Damn, failed cosplayer right here. And I ain't give her no words of encouragement, no wisdom, nothing. She's just out here eating her fill. Wait a minute. Okay, I was about to say, where are your legs at? Hunty, your neck is 110% broken, okay? This is not normal. That's her nose. That's not okay. <laughs> you can't be doing that in public, ma'am. Bobby, you don't have eyelids. I mean, I guess it could be worse. Her eyes are glowing. <laughs> and she hates herself. Now, now, you already understand the assignment, do you? That a question? Yes, sir. Cool. And now grab all the food and deliver it. Don't forget to grab their money. And grab that flashlight. You want to have that with you. Oh, and there's Van Key. Guess what? Our delivery bike is out of commission. Someone stole it. Someone stole. They just stole the engine from the bike. Won't that require taking the bike apart? It'd have been easier to take the van. Good luck. The van costs 40k, and we can't. In, and we can't get ingredients if that van broke. Oh yeah. And can you try to finish up those deliveries in the next 22 minutes? Bobby might get mad if you're late. You're Bobby. Oh, this is the developer. Oh, sh okay. 22 minutes from. Oh uh, shit! I don't. Get the flashlight off here. Frozen burbers. Mm. Mm, 22 minutes, huh? Man, I died in the parking lot. Come on, finish in 22 minutes. You didn't even give me a sprint. I ain't got a jump and Nathan. What is this about? Like Jeepers Creepers. Am I the bad guy? Oh, I blamed it on that poor witch. Oh, fucking hey, man. Never doing that again. Joel? Grandfather Edwards. Ugh. Brother, ugh. All up in your face. Hi, welcome back, my favorite delivery guy. Not your favorite nothing, you hear me? You love night shift, huh? No, I just only shift that pays. Well, to be honest, I hate it. But I guess I'm just stuck here. Jobs are tough to find. I understand. Times have changed. Back in my day, finding a job was a piece of cake. Yeah. Now I like to learn billionaire success stories. Eh? That had nothing to do with what he just said. I don't just listen to success stories. You and they came from different backgrounds. Instead, study their failures. What went wrong? And how did they overcome it? Hey! But I know you can't do it. Even now, your parents must be proud of you with your job. Proud? They expect me to be an engineer. How am I supposed to make them proud with this job? Because you serve more people than your mom. <laughs> he closed the door. Yeah. Spitting in his food. I thought someone was, I thought someone was peeping behind the trees. All right, let me get up out of here. All 
I can skip. Everybody live on the same street. We on the same block. Rub number nine. I'm assuming that's on the. Nah, I don't. Okay, five, six. Okay, I. I fibbed a little. Definitely on the second floor. Don't be popping out y'all rooms. Y'all stay in there now. Them ten. Nah. Food lip. He ain't come to the door. Damn, why you have to open the door? Oh, dear God. You are the fool. Order for Diana. Don't speak the English. The. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you for your order. Oh, God! You mad at me for? There's flutters. Hold on. Who down there? I open the block. Let me get off this block. Move it. Got me out here looking crazy. And that's saying something. That's what I saw was just dressed in damn uh ghostly, ghostly hallowed. Nah, we don't we don't we don't mm -mm. No. We don't can do forest deliveries. What are you smoking? Now we're going back to the restaurant because folks talking about yeah, I'm somewhere behind a tree. You in what army, sir? I've been here before, Anna. Yo! Well, they didn't come to the door. Mm. It's one of them plantation houses. Hmm. Folks, it's not around. What does that mean for me? Bop, bop, bop. Wait, I'm about to come. I, I'm sorry. Now, I didn't mean to catch it. Got a pay phone. 911. 911. I said I wasn't going to do it again, or I'm going to do it again. Right on. Didn't even get it. Oh, there's a guy at the door. <laughs> this should be fine. There's a guy at the door. <laughs> Folks just told me to walk across the street and eat a burger off the sidewalk. Yeah, he's he's definitely gonna trust me now. So you have two barley loaves on your feet? What is that about? Talk to me. What you going through? How's life? Uh, Mr. Alfred Day Angel. Oh, my tasty burger. Yes, it's me. Thank you. Cat got your tongue, Alfred. Quick, Alfred, I'm not done with you. I thought someone was behind his head. Sorry, that's my wife. We're in the middle of a, you know, household problem. So here's the mm, what a bad day. My wallet is in my bedroom. Hey, Alfred, be quick. Just wait here, kid. <clears throat> I'll go get it and be right back. If you, if you take too long, you know why? Because you're scamming me? Fucking hell no. You can keep the fucking money. Fuck that guy. I can't close his door. I'm about to leave your shit open, sir. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not dealing with that. Did y'all see how he went upstairs? Not dealing with that. Back to the restaurant. Did 
They're trying to bait me into investigating. I'm not doing it. Back to the restaurant. I can't get in my truck. What? What is this level of sabotage? Oh, I'm about to get sacrificed. It's gonna be baby oil, leather, whips, chains everywhere. She's gonna be talking about, so you wanna join in, fella? No, I don't wanna join in, lady. Is that aliens up there? I see the barber. Just give me the damn barber. That's a mug, you idiot. Okay. Hungry boy. Stupid intruder. There's no way. I wanted to leave. They forced me. I couldn't get back in the truck. That's it for horrors for you. I'm done.